A lot of people are confused with what is happening to TAL Education stock. The ticker is TAL, trades on the New York Stock Exchange. It was up 16% today, despite over the past five days still being down. Look at that, 69.95% uh, over the past five days due to China crackdown on education groups, basically making them become non-for-profit organizations instead of for-profit organizations. I actually went ahead and bought some stock on this massive dip in hopes of a bit of a recovery. What should you be doing with Tal Education Group? Welcome back to another video. Uh, recently, I've been very interested in Chinese stocks because I think a lot of American stocks are overvalued. You look at big tech, Apple, Amazon, Google, sure they're reporting record growth and record profits. However, I think that a lot of that growth is already priced in. When you're looking at Chinese tech stocks, such as Didi, Alibaba, Baidu, I think a lot of the growth is not priced in, in the market and instead, a lot of these stocks are uh, being traded based on FUD. And recently I made a video on Tal after it dropped by um, over 70% in the span of literally one day. And that actually has received a lot of attention and I wanna talk about this stock a little bit more. And just for a complete disclosure, I actually bought 10 shares. Uh, I wasn't able to get it all the way at the lows because I mean, it was incredibly volatile stock. So my average price was $7 and 13 US, uh, US dollars and I bought 10 shares. And again, this just shows you like, this is like a fraction of a fraction of my portfolio. This is even my small portfolio where I only have like $6,000. It's only 1% of this. So this is basically money that I'm willing to lose. But I thought that it could be a good swing trade play uh, and, and kind of the opposite of uh, uh, buy the hype, sell the news type situation, right? And basically, of course, I'm still down my on my position by 10%. But I mean, it popped 16% today. It might be a dead cat bounce, which we're gonna be explaining what that is. Uh, but right now, I mean, I'm just going to be holding my shares in Tal Education Group and to see what comes out of it as a swing play. Uh, and basically what happened was uh, rumors of a regulatory crackdown on education stocks have been building for months. Today, both shoes dropped at once, crushing education stocks under their weight. For-profit educators, tutoring businesses will now become non-for-profit organizations. So buy the rumor, sell the news, goes the old investing maxim, advising investors to buy stocks before they announce anticipated good news and then cash in when the news comes. This happened to Lucid, where CCIV, the SPAC merger, was reportedly going to merge with Lucid, but this wasn't a done deal. And so when they actually reported the news, the stock dropped by like 30% or so or 50% or something like that, something ridiculous. And a lot of people were scratching their heads because they thought that once the news was announced, the stock would actually go up higher. And basically this is the opposite. Uh, and But what do you do when the anticipated news is bad instead of good? It seems that the answer today is to sell on the rumor of impending disaster and then buy back when the rumor proves true. And that's how investors are reacting to confirmation of China's crackdown on for-profit education companies. Uh, so the news is even worse than ant investors anticipated, but all these stocks jumped like crazy, okay? I mean, Tal, as we can see, was up by 16%, not 6%. Uh, so this not, not might be the reaction you were expecting to today's news from Wall Street, where investment bank downgraded shares uh, to hold. Um, and opinions on further alleviating the burden of homework and after school tutoring for students in compulsory education and the news is actually even worse than feared. After school tutoring institutions such as, such as GoTo, Neurintel, Tal and 17 Education must now transform themselves into non-for-profit organization with the aim of lowering the cost of education for students and their parents and making it easier for them to com contemplate having more kids, uh, which is what China is trying to do. Uh, now they want parents to have more kids instead of less kids. So all these stocks are going to have to become non-profit organizations. That doesn't sound very promising for uh, profits going forward. And it's a good reason Dutch, for example, took today as a cue to replace its $20.10 price target on New Oriental with a target of $2.50 and cut its target for Tal nearly 90% from $85 to $8.60, 
which is actually, I guess, you know, uh, below what its price is right now. So still $8.60, not bad. And slap a $3 price tiger target on this other company, uh, which Deutsch has previously valued at 97. That being said, the worst has now happened and the bad news is now baked into these companies' stock prices. It would appear that what we're seeing today is short sellers closing their positions and counting their winnings. This trading action is driving share prices higher in the short term, but beware, it could be a dead cat bounce, uh, which basically means as the stock is falling, uh, there could be a period of time where it looks like the stock is recovering. So it went from uh, right here, like $27, all the way to uh, $17 before recovering to $19, but then continuing its downward spiral. Uh, and this was from Cisco Systems in the dot-com crash in uh, 2000. So it went from $82 to $15.81, right? And I mean, it, this is even a more dramatic decline. We're talking about a peak of uh, one year, a peak of like $90 to now, trading at $6.40, over a 90% drop. So even worse than the, that dot-com uh, crash. And it's actually interesting to see that the Motley Fool recommends new Orient and new Oriental Education and Tel Education Group. So it's interesting that they're actually uh, promoting these stocks to their investors. So uh, this was a pretty interesting article written by Rich Smith. So very, very cool there. And a lot of people are confused, right? A lot of people don't know how to take this news. Some people are saying nonprofit means Tal will receive the same pay from government grants instead of students' money. Uh, and I mean, there's a, an article saying that investor uh, China stocks rebound as Beijing dismisses earlier melt meltdown as venting emotional meltdown. Um, and I mean, so a lot of people just don't know how to take this news. They don't know what to do. Uh, again, there's still a lot of uncertainty going on. And I think that it could be potentially a dead cat bounce if you're just looking at the chart price I mean, just like, look at this, like, it's just ridiculous how steep this stock has fallen uh, so quickly too. I mean, you just look at the six month trend, like, wow, it's still below the lower Bollinger Band here. You can't see because there's heavy trading volume going on right here. But I mean, even on the green day, there was like a uh, very, very, it, this was below the lower Bollinger Band, which is incredibly, incredibly bearish, sitting still at a 26 on an RSI. So I still think that this is a pretty good swing play. And of course, I'm going to be holding my shares there. Uh, I own more shares of Alibaba stock. And again, like as most Chinese stocks go up um, or as one Chinese stock go up, most of them tend to go up. And this is a big, big player. You're looking at a company with a 530 billion market cap moving up 5% today. You're talking about billions being added into uh, the, the stock price. And in total, I just have 13 shares of Alibaba. I mean, of course, I don't have a lot of money. I'm a student. A lot of people have been commenting, well, if it's like, if this is your highest conviction position, why don't you have all your life savings in Alibaba? I mean, to be fair, I'm just 21 years old. I'm still in school. You know, I got to repay the debts. So I don't have a lot of money on the side to invest. But trust me, any money that I do have on the side is, uh, yeah, going into Chinese stocks right now, especially Alibaba and Baidu. Uh, Didi also popped. And what's interesting is that Uber shares drop as SoftBank plans to sell shares to cover DD losses. SoftBank is a Japanese investment firm and they invested heavily into DD uh, and they actually had to uh, sell Uber shares in order to recoup their losses, which actually came out at like $4 billion on, on the DD position. So whew, that's, uh, that's quite a bit there. Uh, and a lot of these, again, there's another article saying why DD, Alibaba, NetEase pop today. Uh, so investors have ditched many Chinese stocks because of, of course, crackdowns and uh, tightening their grip on uh, tech companies. Didi, for example, is going to have a punishment because it listed on the New York Stock Exchange despite China saying, no, don't do that. Um, and uh, now what investors would be wise to be and cautious about investing in China based tech stocks right now, despite today's gains, the Chinese government appears to be asserting more of its authority over publicly traded companies. And that's likely to make many investors nervous. For example, Didi was restricted from adding new investors to its app uh, and its app was removed from Chinese app stores this month, two major blows to his business. So, oh, that's, that's pretty interesting. So um, let's see. Moly Fool owns shares and recommends Alibaba stock. 
Whew, see, so again, Moly Fool is liking this. And I mean, Moly Fool, I think, has had pretty good gains in general when it comes to their latest stock picks. And you have to actually pay for their stock picks. So that they have shares in Alibaba and are recommending Alibaba, I mean, I think that's a bullish signal. Uh, all I know is I like Alibaba. I like their growth. I like Tal as a more risky play. Of course, I only threw in 100 Canadian dollars into it. So, you know, that just shows you how much of a risk it is. Don't put in money that you're not willing to lose. So... That's it for me. I'd appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Feel free to check out the Discord. Uh, there's a lot of good information going on here, especially with regards to uh, Chinese stocks right now. And we talk about the market in general and everything like that. And if you'd like to support the channel, feel free to check out some uh, links down below in the description. So thank you so much. Love you all and take care, guys.